Hello everyone welcome again. Well in this video also we are going to discuss some more common target inside ant. So let us suppose there is a text file and I want to copy this file from this location to bin folder. I will remove these targets and create one more target name copy. So in order to copy a file you need to use copy tag. Specify the file name with the help of file attribute. And specify the directory to which you want to copy. So bin. Okay. So what this tag is going to do, it is going to copy the test.txe which is in current directory to the bin directory. So and copy. So as you can see that copying one file to bin folder. So it has copied that file. But let us suppose I have multiple files and I want to do the same operation. I want to copy all this file inside the bin folder. So here I I cannot use multiple copy command and specifying keep specifying the name of text file. So here I am going to modify this tag. I will make copy. Specify the directory where I want to copy the file that is bin. Specify the overwrite. So you can tell that whether to overwrite a file or not with the help of this attribute. And when it comes to dealing with multiple file, you need to take the help of file set. Make sure that you are using this file set inside the copy tag. Okay, so it should be a nested because copy tag will take off, take the help of this file set to read the multiple files. So here I need to specify the directory, means reference directory where my files are present. So that will be the array current directory and also using the file set you can put a filter filter means what kind of file you want to copy and you can also exclude the files also for example if I type include and type star dot txt so this will tell file set that include only the text file whose extension is dot txt and also if you want to exclude means if you don't want to copy any file so you can take the help of exclude attribute. So first let me run with this. Okay. So what is going to do? It is going to look into the current directory, include all the txt file and copy them into the bin directory. So again and copy. So as you can see that copying six file to bin directory. So it has copy all the six file. Let me delete all this file and now I will use the exclude tag sorry attribute and I will specify that do not copy this txt file. So what is going to do it is going to skip this particular txt file. So again copying five files and if you look at the bin folder it does not contain the test.txt. So whenever you need to deal with multiple file, you have to take the help of file set tag and by include attribute and exclude attribute, you can specify which file to include and which file to exclude. Okay. Now let us suppose I'm going to copy these files in all the directory. Okay. And I want to delete all the file all the txt file which are present in the base directory also and inside the uh, inside the nested directory also so let me create one more directory over here test and i will place this file so i to i want to delete all the text file which is present in base directory also or inside the other directory also so again so target name delete here I will make it del delete and also 
I will make it fail or error false. So let us suppose you your target got failed means this delete target got failed because of some error. So at that time if you want to continue your execution you need to make it false. If you want to terminate the execution at the same time you have to make it true. Okay. So as we are dealing with the multiple files again here I will use file set specify the directory this will be the current directory includes specify star star slash star dot txt okay so this regular expression will tell the file set that in the current directory search every folder and include the txt file for deletion okay so in our previous target we have specified just this so that means only in the current directory but if I specify this means that if there are folder or if there are some child directory search in direct in that directory also and I will make it true so it will print some information at the console So as you can see that it has deleted inside the test folder, inside the bin folder, inside the source folder. So if I go to the Java folder, I don't have any text file. Okay. So it has deleted uh, all the text file which is present inside the current directory also and inside the child directory also. Okay. So now we will see how you can compile a Java file with the help of ant. So again I will create a target call it compile okay so for reference I'm going to take the help of this hello world Java which is inside my D drive and if I edit it so it is going to just print the hello world from ant at the console okay so here for compiling you need to take the help of Java C tag inside the Java C tag you need to specify the source directory source directory represent where your java file is present so it is present inside my d drive so I'll specify the d drive okay and I will include only one java file that is hello world because I have other java files also here so I will include only this java file and after compilation where you want to generate the class file so I'll make it to the current directory so current directory means it will generate the class file inside the java folder so and compile So as you can see that it has generated a hello world dot class file okay so now here as you can see that we are getting a warning so include run and run time was not set so I'll make it include and run time equal to true okay so now this time I'm going to compile and move the directory to the bin sorry class file to the bin so if I compile it, sorry, if I run the compile target, so here if you go to bin directory, you will get the hello world.class. So using the Java C tag, you can compile the Java file, source file with the help of ant. Okay. Now I will show you how you can run the Java file with the help of ant. So target run. Okay and this will be your default target and I'll make the destination DRS current so inside this target I will use Java tag for running my Java file specify the class name so class name is the name of the file which contain the main method so in our case this is hello world so hello world and so if you uh, 
if you are referring any class path you can specify with the help of class path sorry if you are referring any external jar which has to be a class path so that can be done with the help of class path or class path ref and also you can take the help of fork so fork will it will generate the multiple thread for executing okay so i'll create a dependency depends on compile okay so again here i will end and as we have a default attribute as a run target so i will just type and then click enter so it has compiled it it has run it and as you can see that it is coming from your uh, java program java program that is hello world from end if i make it as verbose true so it is going to print the information of com information that means whatever the information generating during the compilation so again and so let me delete the class file first here and rerun it again so as you can see that this information is getting generated because of that verbose attribute okay and it has executed the java program so in this manner you can compile your java program with the help of and execute it and also in our next video we are going to see how you can trigger the j unit with the help of and so that's all for this video and thanks for watching